on September the 2nd, 1944, the last transport, the last transport from Holland to Auschwitz, and we were taken that day. In our transport was also the Frank family, from Anne Frank and her parents. They were caught in Amsterdam on August 4, one day earlier than we were in The Hague. And with those people we went to Auschwitz. Now, this is what I want to tell you, if you want me to tell, you want to, tell, you want to hear what it is. We were in what they call cattle cars. We were there. There was actually no place to sit. There was a barrel there, and in that barrel you could do whatever you had to do. I think we have about 30 or 40 people in a cattle car. And there was a lady standing next to me, a Dutch lady, and she said, do you know where we are going? I said, I have no idea. She said, I know, she said, because I've been there and they needed me as a witness for a case, court case. They took me back to Amsterdam and now I'm going back there again because I testified in a case. And we, were go we are going now to a place they call Auschwitz. That was the first time I heard. I said, what is that? Oh, she said, as soon as we arrive, 90% of all our people here are going to be killed right away. I couldn't believe it. I said, well, you're telling me this. I said, you have to do one thing for me. Don't tell anybody here what you are telling me now. Because if you are telling this, those people are going to get crazy. And she said, well, I will. And she never did, by the way. And when we arrived there, they were looking for her and they took her. And she was killed right away. So actually, I knew what was going to happen. Rose did not. And after a couple of days, we came when, into the camp. When you got off the train, can you describe the scene for me when you got off the train? When I got off the train in Auschwitz, to be very honest with you, When I got off the train, I really thought I had passed away. And this was hell, really. I thought I died because this is impossible. Really, I thought so. I mean, I cannot ask you to just imagine what we saw. They opened the doors and they were hitting us, the German soldiers. Spotlights were on us, it was night. And we came out of the cattle cars and everybody was screaming, not we were screaming, but they were screaming, the Germans, and get out, oh, everything in German, of course. And I really thought this, I passed away. This, this is impossible that this can happen on Earth. Older people, they, they hit them, they had whips in their hand, just like cattle. Well, we found out, I found out in a hurry that it was not held. It was So after a while, they took first all the older people and there were also children in our cattle car too. And they said, uh, who belongs to those children? And then when, let's say a young girl would say, oh, I'm the mother, because he thought you're gonna stay with the girl. You go that way too. We didn't know, but the girl was killed right away with the kids. There were no children in Auschwitz. <laughs> 